Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Saldina. I am a software engineer and I make programming related videos. And in this video, I want to talk about data structures. This is going to be an introduction video, so it's not really important if you are not already familiar with data structures, if you never even heard of data structures, because I am going to explain everything step by step. And then in my following videos of this playlist, we will see and focus on each individual data structure on its own. So the first question that I want to answer is, what are data structures? Well, a data structure is just a collection of data. So it is a collection of integers or characters or floats, doubles, or it can be some user-defined types, so classes. Uh, and if you're not familiar with classes, make sure to watch my object-oriented programming course, which I will link here and then in the description down below as well. And it is a collection, but it is an organized collection. And it is organized in such a way that it makes the process of working with that data, accessing that data, modifying it, changing it, it makes that process very fast and easy. Why do we need data structures? We need them because without data structures, our code would be much slower, and then the process of working with our data would be much, much harder. So we organize that data into data structures. And for this, I want to give you an example that I am pretty sure every single one of you is going to understand. So imagine the following situation. You wake up in the morning and you are running late for work or for school, so you need to get ready and you need to get dressed, but you need to do that very, very quickly. So you look outside to check the weather or you check it on your smartphone <laughs> and you realize that it is sunny outside. So you decide that you will wear a t-shirt, pants, and then socks and shoes, and you will probably wear some accessories, things like a wallet, a watch, sunglasses, things like that. But then, you realize that your clothes is not organized. So here is your clothes. Now my question for you is, how are you going to find those things that you need in this pile of clothes? And how long will it take? So this is a rhetorical question and rather than answering this question, I want to give you an alternative instead. So imagine if your clothes were well structured and organized. Wouldn't it be much easier to access the clothes that you need in this situation? So again, as we said, you need gray t-shirt, blue jeans, gray shoes, socks, and then sunglasses, watch, and wallet, and a jacket in case that the weather gets worse. And you are ready literally in five minutes. And yes, you first need to invest some time to think about the best way to organize your clothes. And maybe you need to learn a few tips and tricks on how to do that. But later, the process of you getting ready and accessing that clothes is much faster. And this example is not just applicable to organizing your clothes, because you probably have some other way that you use to organize your books for school. And then there are ways to organize and structure streets in your town. And then there is some other way to organize your posts, your messages and photos on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and things like that. And by the way, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at at True Code Beauty. Salina, please put it here when editing. <laughs> so as I said, you have different ways to organize different things in your real life. And the same way in programming, you would use a different data structure to organize data in different situations. And some of the examples of those data structures that we will see in my following videos are an array, a list, a stack, a queue, a graph, a hash table, and so on. And in my following videos, I will dedicate that specific video to each individual data structure so that you can learn advantages and disadvantages of that data structure. And then you will learn some rules and tips and when to use a specific data structure. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. By the way, we will be talking about algorithms on this channel as well, because those are closely related to data structures. Uh, so if you don't want to miss any video that I publish, uh, you can subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell icon, because then you will be notified when I publish my next video. If you don't, no problem. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I am going to see you in my next video. Bye.